90% of customers have now shopped online. Majority of those people did it for the first time in this last couple of months. And what's more interesting about that is 52% of them said that this change is significant, meaning that that's likely to persist beyond the pandemic. So we've got to change that's happened for this moment, but it's likely to be a lasting one. So it only makes sense that every industry, and particularly the retail one, has to address this change. Now, to help me cover this topic, I brought an incredible group of panelists here. I'm going to introduce them in a moment, and then we're going to get straight into the conversation. The average spent online per day for the customer in the Saudi market, six hours and 45 minutes. 52% of these consumers will go out of their way to buy a brand. Is that one bad experience will mean that 50% of those consumers will leave your brand. There's been so many paradigm shifts, right? Two of the ones that stand out the most are the relationship of offline and online. And the second major paradigm shift has been in this audience of people that previously as a retailer I would never have really had to think about in my online space because they never would have been online. For example, the older generation, our grandparents, you know, people who aren't really digital natives. Online should think of becoming offline and offline should think about becoming online. The journey is so simplified, it can serve anyone, even a five-year-old. Got two million followers on Facebook and you've managed to get 1.8 million downloads of your app. So I'll approach it in a step-by-step -step manner. You know, what did we do first? How can we reach and engage our customers in a meaningful way? They framed the COVID crisis in actually five stages, which is resolve, resilience, return, reimagination, and reform. 